actual checkerboard measures eight squares wide times eight squares deep. So I've gone ahead and marked the center point after four squares along the horizontal as well as the vertical. I will stencil that first, then I will continue the pattern on the rest of the sides as required. Next up is loading the stencil brush with paint. So what I'll do is put paint on the brush then grabbing a rag, I will offload most of the paint to create a dry to the touch stencil brush and then I know I'm ready to stencil. When I work with buffalo check, I like to start in the bigger squares first because what that basically does is offloads the stencil brush a little bit more. The drier the better. And then when I get to the little lines, I will gently swipe in their direction. And let's check out how that turned out. Absolutely perfect. Continuing the pattern is actually really easy. I'm just going to go ahead and line up like-minded squares a little bit to the right. So I'm going to tape that into place and then run a piece of masking tape along here because we only want these three squares stenciled. It's looking good. So with checkers you normally use the dark squares to move your men. You actually could use the little line squares which would work. However, I'm going to take it a step further and fill in these squares to make them solid. How I'll do that is just simply position the stencil once again with like-minded pattern and then fill in these empty squares. Now it looks like a checkerboard. Isn't that cool?